Gee golly gosh gloriski, thought Mary Sue as she stepped on the bridge of the Enterprise. Here I am, the youngest lieutenant in the fleet, only fifteen and a half years old. Captain Kurt came up to her. Oh, lieutenant, I look madly. Will you come to bed with me? Captain, I'm not that kind of girl. You're right, and I respect you for it. Here, take over the ship for a minute while I go get some coffee for us. Mr. Spock came on to the bridge. What are you doing in the command seat, lieutenant? The captain told me to. Flawlessly logical. I admire your mind. Captain Kirk, Mr. Spock, Dr. McCoy, and Mr. Scott beamed down with Lieutenant Mary Sue to Rigel 37. They were attacked by green androids and thrown into prison. In a moment of weakness, Lieutenant Mary Sue revealed to Mr. Spock that she too was half Vulcan. Recovering quickly, she sprung the lock with her hairpin, and they all got away back to the ship. But back on board, Dr. McCoy and Lieutenant Mary Sue found out that the men who had beamed down were seriously stricken by the jumping cold robbies. Mary Sue less so. While the four officers languished in sick bay, Lieutenant Mary Sue ran the ship, and it ran so well she received the Nobel Peace Prize, the Vulcan Order of Gallantry, and the Tralfamadorian Order of Good Guyhood. However, the disease finally got to her, and she fell fatally ill. In the sick bay, as she breathed her last, she was surrounded by Captain Kirk, Mr. Spock, Dr. McCoy, and Mr. Scott all weeping unashamedly at the loss of her beautiful youth and her youthful beauty intelligence capability and all around niceness even to this day her birthday as a national holiday of the enterprise <laughs>